Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again, from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Why? Because this is the day which the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He founded it. He established it. He established it. He founded it. It all belongs to him. It is up to you and I to simply get with the program. Well, beloved, we are here by the grace of God. It's Monday morning. Today is June the 3rd, 2024. And by God's grace, we are here. He brought us safely from one county to the next. We are here in a parking space uh, waiting to go in and get the day started there. And so we just thank the Lord God. And I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So, beloved, we have made it to the halfway mark. Come on now. It seems like not very long ago we started this year, 2024, and now we are at the halfway mark. Or as I heard a preacher say, a pastor say, an apostle say, someone say, talking about the middle. Beloved, the middle matters, okay? So, we are here. I'll tell you what was on my heart this morning. So, I said, you know what? there's some matters of my heart let me let me listen to some good old gospel right so I turned to a station um on the Sirius XM right and it was gospel music but it was more today gospel as opposed to gospel I grew up with you know and it just seems to hit differently I was enjoying but I didn't feel like I was getting what I wanted to get or needed to get right And so today's gospel has a different sound, you know. So I went to the contemporary Christian station and immediately my spirit man was fed. So what's the difference there? So growing up, I grew up on R&B. Then at about fifth grade, I got a taste of dance with me. I want to be your partner, can't you see? The music is just starting, right? And I was like, oh, wow. So I rushed home when I did get home. And I just started flipping stations on the radio in the bathroom, trying to find a station that would would play that song, Dance With Me, right? And I found a station that I thought would play it. And eventually it did. And I was in love that day in the fifth grade. And my family with my siblings and friends would say, why are you listening to to that music? They, they would call it like that white people music. And I was like, it sounds so good, but it just did something to me and for me, right? So now fast forward, um, radio, gospel music, still love gospel music, enjoy gospel music. But then one day I discovered, oh, Christian contemporary music. And I fell in love. I still listen to gospel music. However, I'm a fan of rock. I love, so the Christian contemporary, when it has a rock sound, like casting crowns till the whole world hears, you know. Okay, can't be naming names and carrying on. But my point is, Why is it that one feeds the spirit more than the other? Is it a matter of personal taste? Because I love the rock sound, but I also love R&B sound, right? I love the contemporary sound, but I also love the gospel sound, maybe more old school sound than today's sound. So is it more the sound? Sound? What's that sound, mommy? Is it more the sound that I'm grabbing hold to? Or is it the lyric? Because the lyric is the same. Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. The lyric is the same. Jesus Christ is the way. The lyric is the same right? So is it the lyric or is it the sound? 
And I think it's the sound because I love the sound of rock. I love the sound of Christian contemporary. So why is it that I was fed more by one than the other? I think, beloved, it is the sound. It's the sound. I don't know. What do you think? But I tell you, I rocked on in today. I enjoyed them both. Y'all like, what is Sharon talking about today? I don't know. It's my front seat. This is what's on my heart today. Because the message is the same. But I think it's the sound. I think it's the sound. And the sound did just what I needed it to do. So what sound are you looking for today? What sound is is soothing you? What sound or which sound um, are you gravitating to? Who has your ear? What has your ear? Come on, speak, Holy Spirit. I knew God was going to bring it around. Who's whispering in your ear? Who has your ear? He that hath an ear, let him do what? Let him hear. Hear what? What the Spirit is saying to the church. Which sound are you taking in? Because the sound that we take in, that's the sound that does what? That feeds our spirit. So it's about 627. I went to Jack in the Box. I got my morning cup of coffee with the senior discount, of course. Someone asked me this morning, how much is a senior discount? I'm like 50 cent. They were like, for real, Sharon. I'm like, 50 cent is 50 cent. And sometimes you only have a couple dollars on your cash app card. So that 50 cent, it does what? It comes in handy. Oh, somebody said, girl, what's your cash app? Dollar sign, Sister Sharon. Since you asked, I mean, dollar sign, Sister, S-I-T-E-R, Sharon, S-H-A-R-O-N. And my icon picture is a bowl of popcorn. Since y'all asked, you asked. But anyway, I'm going to sip my coffee, take my breakfast. I have a pastry and my coffee. And then in about 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to make my way upstairs. And I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll meet again on when? On tomorrow. From where? From my front seat. This is your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.